The biggest difference between Omega and other watch brands is its unique coaxial escapement system, and people have mixed opinions about it. Those who speak highly of it believe that the coaxial escapement reduces the wear and tear of parts and extends the service life of the movement, while those who are critical think it has issues like sudden stopping and poor stability. Today, I'm going to analyze Omega's coaxial system through the Seamaster 150 series watch I have. And during the disassembly of the 8500 movement in this watch, I'll reveal the superiority of the coaxial movement to you through the principles of mechanics. If you watch until the end, I'm sure you'll have a deeper understanding of the coaxial system. Hi, I'm Charlie. If you like anything about timepieces, there's just one thing I need from you guys, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it if you want to subscribe to the channel so you can turn on notifications and all that good stuff. When I got this watch, it didn't work anymore. No matter how I shook it, there was no response. The owner said that before it stopped, the time keeping inaccuracy was huge, it could gain up to an hour a day. So I was really curious what could cause a watch to gain that much time every day. The condition of this movement is really good. Judging from the state of the screws, this watch has never been disassembled, nor repaired or maintained. Otherwise, there would be some signs of the screws being turned. If that's the case, it's normal for the watch to have a large timekeeping error. Because if a watch hasn't been maintained for years, the lubricating oil on the movement will dry up and finally turn into sludge, affecting the operation of the movement. Okay, now I just hope it's this situation because in this case, we just need to clean the movement and get rid of the sludge to solve the problem. Let's keep disassembling. After removing the bezel, start to remove the hands. Insert the stem and align the three hands in a straight line for easier disassembly. Let's take a look at how the gears in this movement roll. If you observe carefully, you'll find that this gear suddenly changes rhythm and jumps within a certain range. while the normal gear rotation is uniform, right? So I immediately had a bad feeling that a certain part was worn out. And there's a high possibility that it's the escape wheel. To confirm this guess, I continued to disassemble. First, take off the balance wheel. Looking at it from all angles, the balance wheel is fine. The length of the balance staff is also normal. From the words on the balance wheel, we can tell that this is the first version of the 8500, that is 8500A. In the 8500B and 8500G versions, the hairspring was upgraded to a silicon hairspring, so there would be the letter C14 written on the balance wheel of those two versions. Through two slow motion shots, I've shown you two different situations. On the left is the normal situation of the escape wheel's movement. When you move the pallet fork once, the escape wheel jumps only once. And on the right is the abnormal situation. When you move the pallet fork once, the escape wheel jumps several times. So this is why this watch gains a lot of time in a day, because it slips teeth. To spot this kind of problem, you don't have to do it as tiringly as I did, you know, moving the pallet fork and observing slowly. In fact, you just need to put the watch on a timegrapher for testing. If the watch has this problem, the trend chart displayed on the timegrapher will be like this. Isn't this exactly the same as the movement of the escape wheel? Simply put, it jumps every few seconds instead of the normal situation where the chart forms a continuous line. Next, we take out the escapement wheel and observe it under magnification. Just as I guessed before, it's a part wear problem. Two of the teeth on the inner layer of the escapement will are severely worn. Obviously, they're no longer pointed. One of the teeth on the outer layer is also worn. There's no way around this, we can only replace it. But here comes the question. Omega officially claims that the coaxial escapement is designed to reduce friction inside the movement. Compared to non-coaxial watches, the intervals between getting your watch serviced will be much longer. But why is the escapement will worn like this? because the age of this watch is far more than eight years. Why do I say that? Although the owner told me that this watch is at most six years old, 
His reason is that the watch was in very new condition when he bought it. But he bought it from the second-hand market four years ago. So I infer that this watch may have passed through many hands before finally reaching him. To determine how many years this watch has been around, I checked online, here's how to do it specifically. Flip the watch to the back of the case, and you'll see a string of numbers. That's the serial number, and it's unique. Then, use the keyword, the Omega Serial Number Decoder, to search on Google. After that, find the website, enter the serial number we just found into the input box at the bottom, and then click the button next to it. The result will come out right away. The result shows that this watch was made in 2007. It's even older than I thought. See? How many years has it been from 2007 until now? And as I said at the beginning, this watch has never been disassembled or repaired. I estimate that this watch has been working for at least 10 years. Parts being worn like this only after more than 10 years. Are you kidding me? Honestly speaking, this movement is extremely durable. So why is the co-axial movement so durable? The main reason is that the friction between the escape wheel and the fork has been greatly reduced. In traditional escapement operation, the direction of force applied by the teeth of the escape wheel is different from the movement direction of the pallets of the escapement fork. So when they come into contact and slide, friction is bound to occur. And this friction not only causes wear and tear on the parts, but also reduces the movement efficiency of the components. That's why a layer of lubricating oil must be applied to the surface of the pallets of the escapement fork. It's to reduce friction and improve transmission efficiency. Now let's take a look at the coaxial escapement. When the left hand entry pallet releases force, the outermost teeth of the escape will directly push the balance wheel disc. See? It operates just like one gear pushing the next gear. When the teeth of the two gears come into contact with each other, their movement directions are almost the same, so there's hardly any sliding between them. This greatly reduces friction and improves the transmission efficiency. Some friends who have Omega watches may find that their watches are still keeping accurate time even eight to 10 years after they start running, even though the lubricating oil inside the movement has long expired and dried up. However, this has led to a rather strange phenomenon. Watches equipped with traditional escapement systems don't seem to wear out their parts as much, while the parts of co-axial movements seem to have more wear. The reason is quite simple. Generally, the service life of the lubricating oil inside a watch is about five years. So theoretically, if the watch keeps working after five years, the parts will start to wear out. Moreover, the lubricating oil will lose its lubricating function. As I mentioned before, in the traditional escapement operation, the transmission between the teeth of the wheel and the pallets of the escapement fork is sliding friction, so the movement efficiency is not very high. Especially when the lubricating oil on the surface of the pallets expires and turns into oil stains, the friction will increase, which will seriously affect the transmission. Therefore, before the parts wear out, the watch will start to run inaccurately and often stop. So the watch owner has two options. Either send the watch for maintenance or keep it on the shelf. These two choices will instead stop the wear of the movement parts. But the co-axial movement is different. Even if the lubricating oil has expired, the watch can still keep accurate time. So the watch owner is very likely to keep wearing the watch just like this Omega today until the parts are severely worn out after more than 10 years and affect the timekeeping. So this strange phenomenon is caused by laziness. I know it's ironic, but in terms of the maintenance cycle, stretching it from four years to eight years is indeed a significant advancement in the watchmaking industry. This was also what George Daniels, who invented the co-axial technology, hoped for. Back then, he painstakingly lobbied various Swiss manufacturers to use his co-axial escapement technology, but was mostly rejected. Only Omega accepted this technology, which has made Omega stand out among numerous watch brands. Okay, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash like button. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.